Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse, Jessica Drew aka Spider-Woman has a unique origin story and different set of abilities in Marvel Comics. She was introduced in 1977's Marvel Spotlight issue 32. Jessica Drew is the first Spider-Woman in Marvel comic history. Originally, Jessica Drew's father used an experimental treatment involving spider DNA to cure her of uranium poisoning. Years later, Spider-Man's woman's origin was re revised and her power has now come from an experimental gone wrong that exposed Jessica's pregnant mother to radiation. Before adopting the Spider-Woman moniker, Jessica Drew was recreated by Hydra in order to assassinate Nick Fury. After she refused to do it, Jessica started using her powers for good while wearing her now iconic red suit. Despite what her name may suggest, Spider-Woman is quite different from a Spider-Man. Apart from a wall crawling, strength, agility, speed and healing, Jessica Drew can secret pheromones that induce a range of emotions emotions in everyone around her including fear and attraction. She can also use wind currents to glide and shoots powerful bioelectronic bolts of energy called venom blasts, similar to those Miles Morales has in the comics. Unlike most spider people, Jessica Drew doesn't have web shooters and thus doesn't web sling. In Marvel Comics, Jessica Drew is a white woman with long straight black hair. Her suit is red with yellow panels, yellow boots and yellow gloves and she usually wears a half mask with big white eyes that resemble Spider-Man's iconic mask. In Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse, Jessica Drew is a black woman with amazing afro. She ditches the red and yellow spandex for a black and red motorcycle jacket and black leather pants. Instead of a half mask, Jessica Drew wears a pair of sunglasses with huge yellow lenses that resembles the shape of Spider-Man's eye. Jessica's abilities are also different in Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse. Unlike her comic book counterpart, this Jessica shoots spider webs from tip of her fingers and doesn't glide either by herself or with the help of unarmed webbing. Instead of gliding or web slinging, she drives a motorcycle that also aids her in a battle. She also doesn't seem to shoot Venom Blast like Miles. Pregnancy isn't exclusive to Spider-Man across the Spider-Verse. In Marvel Comics, Jessica Drew used artificial insemination to have her first child after the events of 2015 Secret Wars. While pregnant, Spider-Woman used a more practical costume to continue the superhero activities. Her son Gary was born without any problems. In Across the Spider-Verse, Jessica Drew quickly bonds with Gwen Stacy when they fight a vulture variant from a different reality. She recruits Gwen and returns to the Spider Society to keep helping Miguel O'Hara protect the stability of the multiverse. Now, in a movie, the cliffhanger teases a battle between Gwen's team and Miguel's team. But while Ben Riley seems happy with his role as a Miguel sideman, Jessica Drew will likely switch teams. Peter B. Parker's decision to side with Miles Morales despite his opportunity to stay with Mary Jane and Mayday may inspire Jessica to do the same, not only because of her natural sympathy for Miles and Gwen, but also because she may identify with Peter B. Parker's fatherhood. Once the conflict between Miles, Miguel and the Spot is resolved, Jessica Drew could replace Spider-Man 2099 as a new protector of the Spider-Verse. Subscribe for more nerdy content.